Okay, hey guys, so um, today I'll be showing you how to make a two column into a three column, four column, one column, anything you'd like. And it's actually quite straightforward. Now, to start off with, you need to find out what the ID or class of your posts are and then the container that they belong in. So the easiest way to do that is use Chrome, Firefox, or anything that just has an inspect element option or a developer tools option, like here. And then we just want to use this little magnifying glass. It'll be somewhere along the top or the bottom, one of the corners usually. And we just want to select one of our images. From there, we'll go up a little bit till we get to something like this. Now, as you can see, when I hover over this, it selects just the post. If we hover up, that selects the entire page and that's just the post. Now, what we want is this here. Somewhere along this line here, once you hover over it, it should say class or ID and we want the thing that's inside of that. Now, most of it will be entry or post or something along those lines. And if we go into our code, we find that here. As you can see, dot entry because it's a class. If it was a hash or a pound, then that would mean it's ID as it has here. Now, if we go up from one, we get this, which is the container that all the posts sit inside of. And we're just going to do the same thing. We need the ID or the class, and this has an ID of post, which is the one above it. They're usually relatively close in the code, but they can be quite far around from each other. Now, to make it so we have three columns instead of two columns, all we need to do is get the, if we hover over here, we just need to get the little stuff that pops up just below it. So 310 for the width, and that's about it. We don't even need the height. So 310 for the width, and all we're going to do is times that by 2, uh, times that by 3, so 310 times 3 is 930, so we're just going to try that. And as you can see that didn't change anything, I believe that's because it may need a bit more as there looks to be a little bit more of a margin, so let's try three, four, uh, 940. 950? 960. Now as you can see, that does work now. You may need to play around with it a bit. Most of the time it's because of um, padding reasons and margin reasons. I don't exactly know why mine is for some reason telling me I need to use 960 instead of 930, but nonetheless that works and then again to make it two columns you simply change this back to 640 or whatever it is equal to yours. Now, to make the post bigger, there's another, oh, to make it different column, there's another thing you can do. You can actually make the post size smaller or bigger. Now, let's say I wanted this size, but I wanted, instead of two posts here, I wanted one post here. One way we can do it is we can actually just come down here and we can make this 100%. There we go. That means it's taking up 100% of the... Uh, container it's in. The other thing we can do is we can go 50%. Uh, hold on, let's try 40%. And there we go. So we've now got two posts in there. Uh, we can then make it 20%. And that would make a whole bunch of posts in there. So you can toy around with that. I like to use pixels instead of percentage, but either way is up to you. And that's what you end up with. Now, this will work with my infinite columns. So that is an issue. And the amount you change here will actually be the amount it is when you have infinite columns turned off and when the page first loads if you have it turned on. So if I save this now and just head over to my blog. As you can see, I now have two columns when it first loads. And if I go into here and just turn infinite columns on, oops, save that, once this code actually updates, now this may take a few minutes to update as you're used to, but once infinite columns does load up, if we just go into here, and 
code for that should load up in here eventually. But pretty much once that actually updates the infinite columns is turned on, you will actually start off with two columns and then it will turn into infinite columns as you've seen in the infinite columns tutorial. Also, another thing, the infinite columns tutorial has been updated with a new code, um, I believe, and magic ask has been updated as well. So thank you for watching this and I hope this fixes it and helps you guys out. If not, just send me an ask like always or just comment below. Thank you.